Genesis chapter 14, Lot's captivity and rescue. In the days of King Amraphel of Shinar, King Arioch of Elazar, King Ched Olaomer of Elam, and King Tidal of Goim, these kings made war with King Bera of Sodom, King Bersha of Gomorrah, King Shinab of Adma, King Shemaber of Zeboim, and the king of Bela, that is Zoar. All these joined forces in the valley of Sidim, that is, the Dead Sea. Twelve years they had served Chedolaomer, but in the thirtieth year they rebelled. In the fourteenth year, Chedolaomer and the kings who were with him came and subdued the Rephaim in Ashtaroth Karnaim, the Zuzim in Ham, the Imim in Shav Kiriathim, and Horites in the king country of Seir as far as Elpar on the edge of the wilderness. Then they turned back and came to En Mishpat, that is Kadesh, and subdued all the country of the Almakites and also the Amorites who lived in Hazazon Tamar. Then the king of Sodom, the king of Gomorrah, the king of Adma, the king of Zeboim, and the king of Bela, that is Zoar, went out, and they joined battle in the valley of Sidim, with king Ched Olaomer of Elam, king Tidal of Goim, king Amraphel of Shinar, and king Arioch of Elazar. Four kings against five. Now the valley of Sidim was full of bitumen pits, and as the kings of Sodom and Gomorrah fled, some fell into them, and the rest fled to the hill country. So the enemy took all the goods of Sodom and Gomorrah, and all their provisions, and went their way. They also took Lot, the son of Abram's brother, who lived in Sodom, and his goods, and departed. Then one who escaped came and told Abram the Hebrew, who was living by the oaks of Mamre, the Amorite, brother of Eshol and Anna, these were allies of Abram. When Abram heard that his nephew had been taken captive, he led forth his trained men born in his house, 318 of them, and went in pursuit as far as Dan. He divided his forces against them by night, he and his servants, and routed them and pursued them to Hobah, north of Damascus. Then he brought back all the goods and also brought back his nephew Lot with his goods and the women and the people. Abram blessed by Melchizedek. After his return from the defeat of Chedorlaomer and the kings who were with him, the king of Sodom went out to meet him at the valley of Shava, that is, the king's valley. And King Melchizedek of Salem brought out bread and wine. He was the priest of God Most High. He blessed him and said, Blessed be Abraham by God Most High, maker of heaven and earth, and blessed be God Most High who has delivered your enemies into your hand. And Abram gave him one-tenth of everything. Then the king of Sodom said to Abram, Give me the persons, but take the goods for yourself. But Abram said to the king of Sodom, I have sworn to the Lord, God Most High, maker of heaven and earth, that I would not take a thread or a sandal thong or anything that is yours, so that you might not say, I have made Abram rich. I will take nothing but what the young men have eaten and the share of the men who went with me, Anna, Ishol, and Mamre. Let them take their share.